In this tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you some of the techniques I use for lighting a scene and relighting different uh, elements in a scene that are being montaged together. I'm going to try to show you several different methods so I'm going to go through them rather fast. Here I have two elements. One I have a foreground which is dark, darkly lit, and that is this image of the girl. And uh, she was shot with not a lot of light, not any strong light source that we can see hitting her. And she has some discoloration with blue light on her right side, which we'll need to get rid of. And then for my back image, I have a scene of an indoor shot in a hallway with a very bright light source. And it's rather washed out because of the light source and the way it was shot. And so I need to reconcile these two images together and make them look as though they belong together first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to darken down my background. I can do that by going down here to the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer. Choose Levels. After I do in my Levels dialog, I'm going to drag my mid slider to the right to about 70. And I'm going to drag my black slider to about 24 about the beginning of, of, of the ascension here on this histogram. Hit OK. And you'll see that what I've done now is I've added some dark information to this image. I've really taken uh, the washed out parts and made them look a lot darker. This fits better with the lighting on my grill and it also makes it more dramatic and so it's going to fit a lot better. Still I have a very bright light source behind her and she's not uh, really indicating that by the way that she's lit so I need to relight her and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to start by creating a curves adjustment layer I'm not going to do anything to it right now just hit OK and the reason for that is because I want it to only affect the girl the way I do this is by going up and hitting create clipping mask and you'll see this little arrow appear and this indicates to you that all the adjustments you make on this will only affect the layer below it. They're only going to affect, in this case, the girl and not the background, which is what I want. So I'm going to bring back open my Curves dialog, click anywhere on the line here to create a point, and I'm going to drag up towards the light, the light side of this Curves adjustment, and just keep dragging until she looks somewhat blown out and brighter than I think she should. Hit OK. Now because I don't want all of her highlighted, just some select spots, I'm going to fill the layer mask with black on this curves adjustment. You can do that by going to Edit, Fill, Use Black, hit OK. And we return to what she looked like before as if there were no curves adjustment. So now I'm going to paint in what I want of the curves adjustment. I'm going to do that using a round brush, which is usually standard if you haven't selected a different brush, just a standard round brush and I'm going to get white as my foreground color make sure that my layer mask on my curves adjustment is selected and I'm going to right click for my brush options and when I do that I'm going to set my hardness all the way down to zero this will give me a soft brush as I paint in I'm going to paint in some white here around the shoulder and make it look as though it's highlighted there Make sure your opacity is up. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and bring it all the way up to 100% and paint in the highlights. You need to be aware of where the light source is and where the highlights should be on your image, ideally, where the shadows should be so that you can recreate them if necessary. And in this case, I know that this light should be coming through and striking some parts of her body that it's not showing. So I'm just going to paint them there and make those highlights myself. And I'm going to go pretty fast here because I want to show you several techniques. You can obviously you can take this and use it for your own methods and do a lot more with this if you want to spend the time to. So I've got some basic highlights going here which is nice. It's making her look like she fits into the scene a little bit better. It's still not perfect. I need some highlights on her hair. And One thing you'll notice using a curves adjustment that if you were to paint on her hair you really don't get much of a change because it's so dark and when you have such a dark information area of your image and you're using curves adjustments you won't get a very good result trying to lighten it with curves or levels you'll get a lot of noise so I'll show you a different technique for lightening that go back to my base layer of the girl and I'm gonna add just a blank new layer and because I already had one clipping layer above it 
this layer automatically clips below it. Otherwise, you need to follow the instructions and right click and create new clipping layer like we just did before. So now that I have this blank layer on, I'm going to make sure I still have my round soft brush. White is my foreground color, and I'm going to drop my uh, opacity down to about 5%. At 5%, it's not going to be very dynamic or show a lot, but when I'm painting on black, any white is very noticeable, so I want a very low opacity. And I can do multiple strokes and create it darker or more uh, visible if I want it to be. So now I'm just going to paint down along the side of her hair with this very light opacity brush. And you'll notice I'm creating just subtle little highlights here. And these subtle highlights, you can manipulate them however you prefer. I'm just going to paint in a little more around the absolute edges where it looks like the light might uh, really be affecting them to the point where you can kind of get a little bit of a flare or a glare coming from this bright light source just to emphasize how bright I think the light would look on her. I'm going to keep painting around and you'll notice that I'm removing in this case because of my light opacity some of the shadows on her and just kind of leveling them out to where they match better with her skin. On this side with the blue I might need to go in and recolor that if you have not seen it already, you can use some techniques shown on the Remove Color tutorial, which you can also find that we offer. Uh, and here again on the shoes, I can add those nice highlights just like I did on the hair. Really obvious on the black. It's a lot better than using a curves or a layers adjustment. Hand painted. A lot more control. Now that I've done that, I have some nice highlights. I'm going to show you just a few more techniques that I might use to add some highlights and one of which is to create another blank layer similar to what I did before just a blank layer uh, where I can paint select my brush tool again bring the opacity all the way up to 100 in this case because I want to show you this technique and how it looks in its most extreme form grab white as my foreground color and I'm going to set my layer blending mode to overlay this means that whatever I paint on it is automatically going to be in overlay mode and I can do some cool stuff with this. I have a white brush and I'm going to start painting in overlay mode and you'll see it starts adding some interesting highlights. Even though I have a hundred percent opacity it's 